At some point over the pandemic, everyone tried to become a better person. And I noticed there was two camps where it was half the people, better person meant giving to charity, and for the other half the people, better person meant getting abs. And I actually tried both. And I can tell you from first-hand experience, abs is so much harder. Like, I have way more respect for hot people than good people. It's not even close. When I meet someone who's like, oh, yeah, I'm going down to the soup kitchen to help out, I'm like, dude, I get it. The gym is tough. <laughs> you don't even have to tell me. I think hot people do more good than good people. Like, okay, be honest with yourselves. Imagine you're sick. Which would you rather have? Medicine from a good person or a text from a hot person? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only jerk off to one of them. <laughs> I gave up immediately. I, I, I gave up trying to be hot so fast because I tried. Have you guys tried jumping jacks? No, no, but, but with like adult balls. <laughs> it's not right. I tried it because I, I could hear my balls. Because they would gently slap the, the upper. <laughs> And I could hear it. I mean, it was subtle, but it was a definitely audible, like... <laughs> it sounded like an old woman eating oatmeal. <laughs> but it wasn't that. It was my balls. <laughs> so I did that three or four times. And I was like, all right, I'll do charity. Okay. <laughs> but I was really interested. I wanted to figure out what, uh, what is the most efficient charity, right? Like, how, how can I help the most people while spending the least amount of money? Uh, and it turns out it's actually um, buying malaria nets. Yeah, or, or, or rather, um, anti-malaria nets. It's not, it's not a smallpox blanket situation. <laughs> and they're like, I got you this net. They're like, why is it buzzing? I'm like, just enjoy the net. It's a gift. But it's true. That's I mean, you said, that's true. That, that's by far the most efficient. If, if you wanted to help the most people, malaria nets is the best, by far. So I don't understand why haven't the other charities switched to nets yet? Like, what are they doing? You know, I have a friend who's into autism speaks. It's like, no, autism shouldn't speak. They should make nets. <laughs> I feel like they'd be good at that. <laughs> or, um, what is it? Uh, the Make-A-Wish Foundation? No, the Make-A-Net Foundation. <laughs> Those kids still got a few good weeks left in them. <laughs> you show up, they're like, are you going to grant my wish? It's like, that depends. <laughs> is your wish to be a net manufacturer? <laughs> See, the worst are, um, the worst are, um, animal people, people whose charities are animal stuff, because you're funding wheelchairs for fish when there's people who need help. You know, it's nonsense. <laughs> people are so much more important than animals. Like, if it was up to me, and I had to decide between letting one person die or killing 800 dogs, <laughs> I wouldn't even have to think about it. I would push the button, I would lower the net full of dogs into the lava, and you're like, oh, that's so sad. It's like, I know, what a waste of a net, but like, <laughs> I'm helping.